even though this has like the lowest amount of green sharpness you can basically get on anything it's still better to have than none and even though it looks like there's a significant damage difference between the two there there really isn't Still slowly stocking up for these fire shots. It'll be worth it eventually. So, the last time I did this quest at the Sword and Shield, it... Let's not say it went poorly, but I couldn't find the monkey. I could not find Catchawacha. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm doing something wrong. I ended up finding him in 4. I guess I could just stay in 4. Wait for him to show up. He's definitely not in 2. I don't think he would start in 7 or 8, though, would he? Maybe he would. Oh, here he is. No. Where are you going? I think he went to two. Okay. So it all just depends on how quickly you can get there. <laughs> the green sharpness is good enough for like one combo. That's sad. I was hoping I would get like the bug or something. Oh no! Oh! Yeah, good job, Cha Cha. It's like that is like the worst possible time. That's an interesting attack. He, like, causes tremors. Well, this little nest can actually be broken. Oh, I was so close to him. Oh, that was a really cool way to... So it's like if you miss, you can just kind of like fade slash and try to recover that way. It's gonna scream. Chacha's really, like, going to town on him. He's, like, aggressive. Uh, probably not. I know I've advised all, all of you against fighting him when he's enraged and hanging. Let's see if I can take my own advice. So I'm not even going to bother sharpening, because I get one combo's worth of green sharpness out of that when I do that. You know, if you're really light on Spirit Gauge, it might make sense to just try and just do the combo straight out of the Fade Slash. Now that I'm getting used to it. So here's the thing, it automatically puts you into like that combo. Anyways. I 
at least while you're building up the gauge in the first place. You know, those initial attacks are really, really good. Oof. Alright, so we might... I was going to say, let's get to a, a nest and try and do a leaping attack on him. Alright, well, he may not play. Oh. Yeah, come on. Come on, come on. Good. Okay, so that worked out really well. You see though that your the red gauge is not filled up at all. By by even getting a, a second combo off. He's probably gonna run to four. Okay, so unfortunately we're going to have to start just rebuilding our gauge from scratch. It could be worse. It's so much easier to get the, the final combo out anyways that it's, it's actually not that big of a deal if you have to rebuild it. I think you have to be worried about is, uh, I guess, the geometry. Because I just totally whiffed that. There we go. That worked out okay. Yeah, stop running. Well, I probably should have tried to sonic bomb him or something. Yeah, I'm not even going to worry about getting him to sleep or anything like that. Oh, kind of accidentally, oh. <laughs> well, the riding system is amazing, but it has, uh, it has issues. <laughs> issues with the world that I'm sure will be uh, fixed a little bit in any further revisions to Monster Hunter. Where are you? What are you doing? I was hoping it would fall. He looks so weird when he's exhausted. It's like like he, he really, really looks like he wants to take a nap. Like he doesn't look hungry. He's just like, man, I am tired. I am a sloth. I'm ready to live slow and die whenever.
Okay, that still leaves Charge Axe, Bug Staff, Lance, and the Heavy Bowgun. Let me just grab this ore here. <laughs> 